A former Navy man who killed four people in 2016 when his pickup truck flew off a ramp to the Coronado Bridge is set to be released early from prison. Newsday's David Godfredson spoke with the daughter of a couple who was killed when the truck landed in Chicano Park. We were barely given a two-day heads up. Marianne Contreras received an email Tuesday notifying her family that the man responsible for killing her parents is getting out of prison early. Immediately, I felt sick to my stomach. I wanted to cry, but I was also upset. 28-year-old Richard Sapolio, a former Navy man, was sentenced to nine years, eight months in prison in May of last year for a DUI crash where his truck flew off a Coronado bridge ramp and landed on a crowd of people below in Chicano Park. Four people died. I lost my parents, both of them, in an instant. And it's horrendously changed our lives. We'll never be the same. Now he's set to be released as early as this Friday with good behavior credits, time served in jail before his trial, and three months off under a COVID-19 prison population reduction program. Four lives were lost, and he's not even doing one year of time for each of those lives lost. District Attorney Summer Steffen has contacted Governor Newsom's office trying to get the release halted. There's no reason that they can't stop it, meaning he is not entitled under the law. This is just a freebie, a get out of jail card. A jury found Sapolio guilty of four counts of vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, even though his blood alcohol level was 0.06, under the legal limit for drunk driving. The victim's families, obviously and understandably, wish that he was convicted of a more serious offense, but he was not. Defense attorney Paul Finks represented Sapolio at trial. He has done everything that the court system has asked him to do, everything the Navy asked him to do, everything the prison system has asked him to do, and he has received the credits that every other prisoner in the state of California receives. That is why he is being released. If he's paroled this week, Sapolio will have served two years, ten months in custody. I'm all for prisoners having a second chance, but time has to be served. Sapolio so will be paroled in California, according to his attorney, although his family lives in Texas. The date of his release, the address where he'll, he'll be staying, will not be made public. Carlo? David, we talked about the shorter sentence. So how much time off his sentence is he getting because of the COVID-19 pandemic? The most any prisoner can get off for the COVID uh, population reduction program is six months. Sapolio is getting three months off under that program. Most of his time off is, is for good behavior, 50% reduction there. And he served in a prisoner fire camp uh, while he was in custody. And under that program, you get an additional day for every day you spend in that prisoner fire camp. Back to you. Painful story for that family. Painful memories being brought back. Thanks, David.